Okay, all right, so today at work we're building two servers. So I had to put the processes in with the heat sinks, then I had to figure out where the RAM went, put the RAMs in. Um, I then had to pop in the boot drive, which is a flash drive. Then I had to add these two cables here for PCIe storage and route the cables and plug them into here and down here. Gosh, it would have been nice that I'd known that they turned that one at the bottom 90 degrees. That made it a little hard because you can't freaking see it at all. Should have gone from this angle. Uh, then I gotta put the rack, rails in the rack and rack it and install the operating system, which should be Windows. And uh, I gotta put the drives in. So these are, look like regular hard drives, but they're really very fast uh, PCIe, hence the special cabling for those. Normally you'd use these cables. Uh, do I need a disk? I don't know. I have to read the manual. So, then repeat, because there's two servers. Say it's about two inches of snow, maybe 10 guys. They're not even open yet. Hey Jack, what you doing? Are you an asshole? You know, she lives here, right? Okay, so two days ago I picked this up and uh, got it. Um, unfortunately, I did not have the video adapter needed for this, which is that little tiny guy's an HDMI. Um, so we've uh, downloaded the firmware. It goes on a little SD card that goes on the bottom of the unit right there. And I added a USB out cable, just in case I need that. And, uh, wasn't what I expected, but um, good thing I can hook up a keyboard, so we'll, uh, we'll proceed. So uh, we got a keyboard attached to her, and uh, now although she's a really small screen, we can at least set it up and try and figure out what's going on there. So, so far I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it's got real buttons, buttons on the side, and it uh, <laughs> turned on. There's a lot of cables inside there. Okay, so wall's been painted. Went up to an imaginary line over there. We did an area there. Chopped off a little bit of the, the little cat, get out. Um, then I did over here. I gotta come back tomorrow and hit that one again. I can't cover it with one coat. Um, did find this. Some sort of wild animal in there. I will have to scrape off a couple of these paint drops from previous painting, but uh, because it's like uh 35% relative humidity in here, this should dry up a lot faster to, uh, than it did in December when it was like 60% humidity. So, my stairs supports haven't fallen down. What I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna put the first coat on. Then uh, once it's dry enough for me to coat with the second, I'm going to actually move those supports over a little bit. So I hit that spot again, not a high traffic area, but I want to seal the floor to keep the moisture from coming up. So there's a big old pile of stuff in there and there's the stairs that go right there. Not as bad as when I did over here. This one over here was a lot more challenging to say the least. Oh, believe it or not, I've downsized and some things have moved into here. I've been cleaning out my garage to make a little room. Okay, well that's the second coat. Got a little crazy in some places with the uh, sprinkles, but uh, she looks fine. It'll give a little more wear that way. So all we need to do is wait uh, one hour for it to tie to touch four hours till I can walk on it and 24 hours till I can start moving things back. But um, this should help cut down on the dust, help cut down on the moisture and look a little less ghetto.
Okay, today I went to an estate sale and bought a few things. So let's see what we got. So we got Michael Jackson History for a dollar. Steve Miller Band. Could be for driving in the truck. John Denver, also driving in the truck. Fleetwood Max Rumors. Yes, I probably have one. Now I have two. Uh, this one's brand new. It's a Garth Brooks Live Double. It goes in the truck. Person drives the truck likes country. Allison Krauss. Could go in the truck. Or probably goes in the car. Uh, then I got something a little odd. The best of Johnny Carson. And then uh, for Sophie, I got the World Trade Center. It's a movie. Then, for the price of some of $1, I got these little baby clams. They barely look used. They're very small. That's one inch. But I got two. And then, um, I mentioned I got some cock. Now, she's brand new, and she's silicone, and she's still got a little squeezy, and she's clear. So I need that for the windows. Uh, then I got these. These are really nice. These are GBs. They're very high quality. Made in Milwaukee. Why? Um, good for stripping wires. So, I'm slowly building a kit for the ones that are leaving home. Um, I thought that was a regular one, but it says sewing, so maybe it's for sewing. Uh, then I always like these. These are very handy. In fact, I'll probably take them for work. Now, you're thinking, that's all good. It's like $15, but you spent more than that. You spent $25. So, let's see what else we got here. So, I got a few clamps, but if you notice, all the jaws are relatively small. They're not big as far as the pads that go on the wood. Of course, these are large, but those are kind of a pain. So, for the pricely sum of $5, I got one, because I only had one, Jorgensen, 36-inch clamp. So, she's, she's got lots of torque. She's, she's got this high torque later. She'll slide back and forth and uh, go up to 36 inches. So if I really like her, maybe somebody will buy a second one. And then the piece de crystals, a rigid pipe wrench, 36 inches. Now you might be saying, Chris, you probably already have a 36 inch pipe wrench. But believe it or not, I don't, but now I do. So all we need to do is uh, kind of clean her up a little bit, maybe put a little bit of paint on her, a little shine, and uh, put her downstairs in the basement for that time that will come. Oh, fuck. I didn't see that. Well, I might have to do a little more repair on that. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I should check for that. But who would, how do you destroy a 36-inch pipe wrench? I don't know. Looks fine on this side. I was looking at this side because it was rigid. It was kind of dark in the garage. Mother. Well, I think I got $3 in steel scrap alone, but uh, we'll come back to this and we'll fix on this. So, there you go. 36 inch pipe wrench, 36 inch clamp. I think I'm going to use that one more than this one. So, this window's now done. Um, I got all the pieces in there. And uh, I thought it was finally finished. Then I realized as I was walking by, I forgot to put this piece in below the, whatever that's called, like you see on the others. Others, right there. So, I've, well, I've been moving wood downstairs to the basement, to the bottom of the garage uh, to free up some weight in here. I found me a nice piece of flooring and, uh, even had paint all over it, but I've got most of the paint off with the hand planes. I'm slowly learning how to use those, more importantly, sharpening them and then uh, adjusting them because you have to you have to make the blade parallel, then how far in and out, as well as sharpening it and then putting down the weight. Um, but uh, I'm getting there, getting some good curlies. I'd like to see more like this, but. This one's good for going over the long span and flattening high and low areas. But when I wanted to get rid of this one and there was some varnish here, I broke out this one. Uh, what I really want is a number 62, but they're about $150. Um, 
It's about that long, but it, the angle is really low, so it does really nice cuttings. It's easier to use. So, uh, this beast is a number seven. I think that's the largest I have. It's number six. Uh, this one's not a Stanley, but maybe this is a number eight. I don't know. No, nope, number seven. Uh, haven't broken this one out. I believe this is my great grand grandfather's. Uh, she's an old one. I'm not even sure who the manufacturer is here. It's warranted. She's missing her horn. But, uh, it's got a cool inlay. Blade's a little too far. It's a little more difficult because, uh, you gotta manually straighten this, and then this is a wedge, so you gotta pull it out, wedge it in, and tap with the hammer until you get the, uh, that's too far. No. Anywho. So I don't have a number eight. But I don't need a number eight. And, uh, so hopefully, we will finally be finished. Uh, the effort here is to get the trim up and then kind of clean up and uh, prepare for the next big project, the bookshelf.